Hello again, my brothers and sisters in Christ. How are you today? You're listening to St. Mark and Bemidji's podcast, the podcast that encourages you to stop worrying and trust in God and His plan. There's never a bad time to study God's Word. The sun is setting. Soon night will come when no one will be able to work. This is the perfect time to think on what God wants you to know about life, the afterlife, and everything in between. Thanks for stopping in today. Today, we listen to a debate that rages within the hearts of those who have heard the words of the Lord, but still struggle, as we all do. We hear and understand that we are saved by faith in Christ. We understand that He will provide for us and take care of all of our needs. And yet, our sinful natures think that we must do something, something to earn all of this. I encourage you to open up your Bibles to the Gospel of John, chapter 6, as you ponder today's devotion. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. John 6 reads, Then Jesus took the loaves, and having given thanks, he distributed to those who were seated, likewise also of the fish, as much as they wanted. When they were filled, he said to his disciples, Gather up the leftover fragments so that nothing will be lost. This is my text. In the name of Jesus, Amen. What's it like in the kingdom of God? Apparently, trusting Jesus. The disciples would have sent the people away to get their own something to eat, according to Luke's gospel. They were the disciples of and daily with the maker and sustainer of heaven and earth, and they were at a loss. They didn't see how everyone could be fed with only five loaves of bread and two fishes. They didn't believe the incarnate Son of God was sufficient to meet this need. Is it any different with anyone living in any age? Do we ourselves not become workaholics because we believe we must, otherwise we won't get ahead, we won't have what we need, we won't enjoy some of the finer things in life? The summary of God's law is love God above all things and our neighbor as ourselves and We often find ourselves too busy with our daily bread to even do that. God sends the rains, the sunshine, makes the crops grow, sustains the livestock, literally giving us everything we need to support our bodies and lives and continue in an almost frantic manner of believing that it all depends on us, that without our undivided, unswerving efforts, God won't make a difference. Doesn't that thinking reflect in our hustle and bustle lives each and every day? There wouldn't be any leftovers if Christ had not first given the food, and that with temporal matters, let alone the spiritual ones. Why do we live as if we must get ourselves right with God by some resolution, good intention, or effort, or or some word, or, or involvement? that will somehow make up for our ignorance of and lack of trust in God and His Word? That is, if we believe what we say we believe, that we are saved by only God's pure grace and mercy through faith in Christ Jesus and in His sinless life lived for us and in His merits for us at the cross to pay for our sins and by His resurrection to justify us before God the Father, Instead of by our deeds, not a one of them, not individually, or any of them all together? God forgive us this Lenten season and whenever else for our faithlessness. Perhaps get down on our knees and confess that we can not only not make payment for our sins before God, but we can't earn our daily bread either. God grant to us to believe Christ's word, that our sins are forgiven for Christ's sake, and that we really do obtain our daily bread only through him. Let us pray. Precious Jesus, I beseech thee, may thy words take root in me. May this gift from heaven enrich me so that I bear fruit for thee. Take them never from my heart till I see thee as thou art, 
when in heavenly bliss and glory I shall greet thee and adore thee. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. We hope that today's meditation on God's Word has enriched you. Divine services are held right here in Bemidji, Minnesota at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Sunday school and adult Bible study is also offered between our Sunday services at 9.15 a.m. Our church services are live-streamed at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings and are available afterwards on our channel, St. Mark Lutheran Church Bemidji. If you're listening or watching this podcast, you are cordially invited to join us in person next week and every week. This is our fourth year producing this podcast, and there is a large archive of devotional material online available if you want to learn more about God and His Word. Visit www.stmarkbemidji.org or look in the show notes in this podcast for a link to this and many other meditations on God. You can also search for St. Mark Bemidji on YouTube to find our channel. If you have any questions or you would like more information about our church and its ministry, please visit our website, which is once again, www.stmarkbemidji.org. All scripture readings are taken from the Holy Bible, New International Version, copyright 2011, and are used by permission from Zondervan. Meditation's daily devotional is published by Northwestern Publishing House and is also used by permission. If you enjoy this podcast, please consider subscribing and telling a friend. May God bless the rest of your day. He, because I could not pay it, gave my full redemption price. Do I need of treasures many? I have one worth more than any. That brought me salvation free, lasting to eternity.